In this video, I will be talking about the pursuit of a universal writing system. A writing system that will eventually be able to inspire the creation of a spoken system. This system will be a classification of everything. It will use simple, fundamental ideas connected to simple, fundamental shapes, lines, and different orientations of those shapes and lines to represent all of the meaning that we could possibly create. In this case, when you look at a word or a sentence in this new language, as long as you understand the original meaning of the constituent parts and the meaning of their mutual orientation, you should be able to determine the meaning of the word or sentence automatically. A system like this would allow one to easily create words without having to have seen them before, as well as to understand the meaning of words without having to have seen them before, as long as they understand the rules and the, the meaning of the fundamental pieces. This is something that is in all languages, but I have not seen any language that has a scale so broad as this. When deciding what basic pieces to use and their different rules of positioning, we must take into account the tool used to write. In the case of Latin, Arabic, and various other alphabets or abjads, a quill has been used. Quills do not have much dexterity, and so only simple characters are produced. Also, a quill allows for less overlapping. Another writing tool not used anymore was the cone for cuneiform, which was pressed into clay. This obviously affects the look of the script very much, as you can see. With Chinese, a brush was used. Brushes are able to overlap more and can create a more two-dimensional character. The brush is also extremely scalable, in the sense that you can have a bigger brush and create a bigger character almost as easily as you can use a smaller brush and create a smaller character, opposed to a quill, which having a larger quill is, is much more difficult. When it comes to future writing systems, there are many tools that can be used. But the biggest one would be the computer, with its many layers of input possibility. Some scripts in the future could even be 3D. And I think that this will eventually happen with the widespread adoption of augmented reality or mixed reality. Finding the most fundamental ideas, which can act as the atoms for a language, has proven quite difficult. This is as much a philosophical endeavor as it is a linguistic one. What does a vertical slash mean? And when it's smaller, what does that mean? And then also, what's the orientation mean? When a vertical slash is next to a horizontal slash, what's the difference between that and a horizontal slash going before the vertical slash? And what happens when the horizontal slash is in the middle of the vertical slash, opposed to the top or opposed to the bottom? What does the two-dimensional order mean inherently? When these ideas are flushed out, however, certain combinations of these fundamental characters can be assigned to sound, which will allow a spoken language to be created from the text. So this language would be both an ideographic and phonetic script. However, like in Chinese, some words have much more complexity in their written form than is needed in their spoken form. So perhaps some of the characters will be said more simply than what is written down, and you can still get your point across. But at least there's an option for clarification if you need to say the whole word. In a spoken language like this, there will be sounds that are repeating because any more combinations of fundamental characters than there are sounds that we can make. But homophones are okay. In the Chinese language, every sound has just about four other meanings, depending on the tone that you use. But oftentimes, you'll have the same tone, same sound, mean different things. So a language system like this could be very promising for many reasons. One, it acts as a philosophical organization of thought with the logical progression of the fundamental meanings. This could even allow uh, children to understand the world better just by learning the language. This language will also allow word creation on the fly more. And this writing system will be very semantically dense. While a language like this would be great, 
Our languages today are also very useful, even though they have evolved more or less naturally and are prone to ambiguity. But that's okay. This is a language that will do a lot of good, but it will also be very difficult to create. Right now, it's easier to just use what we have, but soon, in the future, there will be a system like this. Thank you.